This fall, we have the first retrospective of John Sloan's full career. The pieces in this show are, you know, probably on average about 100 years old. So some of them are definitely due for some cleaning. And some of the works in this show haven't been shown in a really long time. Um, some not since the 1980s, some not since the artist's lifetime, actually. And they need cleaning and care. One issue with the Sloan paintings is that uh, since they're 20th century paintings, uh, he, it was a period where he was experimenting with different materials, as a lot of painters from the early 20th century were. We don't want to damage any original paint, but we want to reveal as much original paint through cleaning carefully as we can, because we want to represent the artist and make it look as close as it can to when it came off at artist's easel. You can find out a lot job by looking something under the microscope or in ultraviolet light where a lot of repainted damages will show up. Looking at things under the microscope is very satisfying to me because you can see the artist's technique and how they uh, constructed it layer by layer and sometimes the, the way they did it looks different than you would expect. Uh, sometimes you'll see a struggle where the artist had to repaint something several times before the final image was arrived at. I've learned a lot just looking at them with the conservator. I learn a lot about technique, about how things are made, how the artist is working. The conservation process has helped me to get develop a new respect for some of his later work and a much better understanding of how he made those works. When the painting is done, you have something that represents that artist um, as close as as it can be, you're always going to have painting that's a little bit yellower, it's, a little, it's, more, it's cracked. So you can't make it look like it did, say, if it you know, came off the easel in 1800, you're not going to have that exact appearance. It is so exciting to see a work that has been, particularly when it's like dingy, grimy, and in the case of John Sloan's paintings in Gloucester, he's working in this high-keyed palette. He's influenced by you know, Van Gogh. They're incredibly bright pieces and to see them when they're clean, it can just be a revelation. One good thing is that uh, everything we do, what modern conservators do is reversible, so it can be taken off easily without damage to the paint. And the materials we use shouldn't yellow or, or become, uh, or crack or have a problem. So hopefully uh, the restorations will last a long, long time. I don't want people to walk through the museum thinking, oh, that's Mark's work. I don't, I don't want anyone to say, the, the upper left corner of that painting, you did a great job restoring it. I'd rather have them think that nothing was ever done to that upper left corner because if you can see the restoration, then I'm not doing my job properly. <laughs>